next two Fathers for Justice campaigners are still camped on the roof of the Deputy Labour Leader's House in South East London tonight. It is the second time the protesters have ambushed Harriet Harman's home after claiming that she's ignoring their appeals to meet and talk about the plight of fathers unable to get access to their children. Well, our political correspondent Simon Harris is live in Hearn Hill with latest for us now. Simon. Ben, I've counted half a dozen police officers in the streets, some police community support officers, a couple of police cars, a police van, a police mobile control room, a street that's been uh, cordoned off, not to mention some uh, community wardens from Southwark Council and however many police might be inside Harriet Harman's house. Now, all of this... Uh, slightly smacks of shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted, but you can't help think that there are more important things that all these police resources could be employed on. But here they are, once again, outside the home of Labour's deputy leader, apparently powerless to stop two protesters dressed as Batman and Superman from prancing around on the roof, making their point to anyone who cares to listen. Harriet Harman has ignored us. Uh, we've written to her. We, we've obviously made a public uh, request for her to talk to us. She has not engaged in any debate with us. Uh, and so hence we're back again. You know, and she, she heads up the Department of Women and Equality. Uh, the name of the department contradicts itself. It's not equality, it's inequality. And we want equality for that. The last time they did this, of course, uh, Harriet Harman had to move out at the beginning of June. Well, today she's been in the House of Commons standing in for her boss at Prime Minister's Questions. I'm sure that my right honourable friend will agree with me that Fathers for Justice do their case absolutely no good by the thuggery and the ridiculous actions that are taking place. Uh, would she and the rest of the House condemn them and say that they're never going to get their way if they behave in such a vile way? Yeah. I thank my honourable friend for her comments and I agree with her.